Vehicle park at the African American Military History Museum is beginning to take shape. The steel frame for the Moeller Military Vehicle Museum is being constructed this week. Charles Harrington has an update on the facility that will house more than a dozen historic cars and trucks. A few weeks ago, all you could see here was a concrete slab from the old Hattiesburg Compress Company. But now, things are much different. As most construction projects, you don't see a lot and then all of a sudden, boom, it starts happening. And it certainly happened here. Just from day to day, there's always a big change. I'm just really amazed at how much can be done in the day. Things are really moving along at the site of the new Moeller Military Vehicle Museum. The folks at Allen's Construction are finishing up work on the steel frame. What comes next will be the siding that goes on and uh, the glass and we will have a sealed perimeter. We're expecting for it to be completely closed in probably by the end of this month, so we're really excited about that. Ultimately, what you'll see will look very much like this. The new museum will be home to more than a dozen military vehicles on permanent loan from Georgia physician Don Moeller. Total cost of the project is about $750,000. We're on target. It is uh, three quarters of a million dollars. That is funded through the activities of the Hasbro Convention Commission. Just the fact that it's directly across from the USO and we know it's going to bring in so many more visitors. Once it's sealed, we'll probably start bringing some vehicles over and so we're really moving towards um, completing this project and hopefully having it open by the end of this year. A total of 13 historic vehicles will be on exhibit at the museum. Charles Harrington, WDAM7, on your side.